I die in a room in a Baroque hotel. On a table in the room is an ashtray filled with cigarette butts and candy wrappers. An ancient set of hypodermic needles sits next to the ashtray, their glass brittle and milky, their metal rusty with age. She is hotel. lying on the couch, one leg to the side, and the other bent. She is still wearing her black shoes and stockings, but she has pulled her burgundy gown away, exposing her thighs. Her breasts, too, are bare, save for that string of pearls falling over them from her neck to her navel. One hand is behind her head, her face turned away. The other falls limply off the edge of the couch. I die in a room in a Baroque hotel. I owned her now for at least ten years. But seeing her this way makes me want her as much as the first time I saw her. I approach her avidly, but she turns away in a kittenish pouch of the couch. I take off my dinner jacket, letting it drop to the floor while choosing a needle. She answers with nothing more than a smile, writhing a bit on the velvet cushions. I join her in the couch and kiss her. Catching a whiff of her cologne as her head moves back and forth on the pillow. I can feel her removing the pearls from her neck and putting them around mine, and I smile inwardly in expectation of the evening's pleasures. As she pulls them tightly around my throat, I at first think it's nothing but my kitten's urge to please me. Only too late, as the pearls dig into my flesh, as I gasp for air, I realize. Do I realize what she is doing?